our main event of the evening between the California Kid, Uriah Faber, and Lights Out. Lights Out, set to enter the octagon tonight and set to leave with the UFC featherweight championship belt around his waist. This guy has insanely fast kicking technique. If you are within kicking range, you are in a world of trouble. Lights out, ready to battle and take home the title. skills in every aspect of the sport. For a long time, he dominated the WEC featherweight division. He's a gifted athlete with a lot of heart and beautiful submission techniques. Uriah Faber is ready to go to battle inside the octagon. For this featherweight championship fight, Lights Out is 24, Faber is 35. Lights Out will have a three-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now... This is the moment UFC fans have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, USA, Lewis. And Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, UFC featherweight champion of the world, Uriah, the California Kid, Faber. All right, this is for the championship out. I want you guys to do a three fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck to that. Catch luck. Uriah Faber. Lights out. And here we go. The featherweight belt is on. Tonight's main event is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Orange trunks for lights out. Black trunks for the champion. Uriah Faber is an elite, world-class mixed martial arts fighter and has been for a long time. He is amongst the very best in the world with very solid submission skills and relentless cardio and pressure. And, and he slams him down. down. 
He wants this fight back on its feet. And he connects with the strike. Faber getting beat up by these hammer fists. The kick gets through. Both fighters looking for an all-out brawl early. Solid late kick by Faber. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. These guys really are setting that fight of the night pace. Tagged him. Nice combination. Hit him with the Superman punch. Faber with another punch. Vicious knee to the body lands. Faber with a jab. And he's got nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. He parries the kick away. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Nice knee to the body. That connected. In the clinch. And he pulls away. Let's go. Use your face. Oh, oh my goodness. Uriah Faber's opponent needs to be aware that he is still very dangerous on his back here. He has a very aggressive guard. He will throw up multiple submission attempts and chain them together. That's a nice one-two combo by Faber. They are trading strikes here. This is an incredible exchange. That's it. Busy with the hand. He has no answer for the hook. Under three. Keep him right there. Let's start to look for those knees to the body. And again, he gets the takedown. Going into a guillotine choke attempt here. Can he do it? Looking to choke him and out. And he gets out. Wow, that was a deep choke. He's got full, oh, no, nope, half guard. Good job from top position by Lights Out. He finds himself back in full guard now. And again, he gets back on his feet. In full guard here. Joe, perfect technique on the block of that huge head kick. Good defense, and he answers with a good count. Wow. What a back and forth exchange. Oh, oh, combination. Oh, what an exchange. Good knee. Nice movement on the ground. And back up again. Good takedown defense. Roundhouse Big kick, kick to the, the head. Set. He's Man, Joe, that's a huge head kick. Big takedown. Good shot to the body. Hits the reversal and right into north south. He's back up to his feet. Lewis gets hit with that body kick. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Nice punch. Just about one minute remains in the first round. And, and now power he gets slams the big into the ground. Down. 45 seconds. Good job from the top by Lewis. And he lands a hammer fist. 30 seconds. Good defense with the parry. Nice counter right hand. Oh, Huge that's shot a big hook. hook. Oh, head kick. Big connection. Hard spinning back fist. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice uppercut. Now he's in half guard. Posturing up. Our first round is in the books. Wow, this is already my top pick for fight of the night. These guys are throwing everything they have at each other. Striking, grappling, you name it. That is a round that MMA fans will be talking about for quite some time. Let's take a look at some of the action that we witnessed. And here's a big slam. Nice technique. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. 
And here's a perfectly placed kick that really does damage. Brittany gets us set for round number two. Stop! Wait a second, round. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Round two. Joe, that was a big round. Uriah Faber's submission attempt nearly finished the fight. Nearly finished the fight with that submission attempt. It was very close. Man, that cut on his eyebrow is looking nasty. Nice parry there. Oh, that's a damaging powerhouse left. Oh, big run. That's wow. a hard hook. Big straight punch. Let's go. Look for that takedown. That's a good knee by Faber. They are exchanging here, Mike. Oh, he clipped him there. And again, as we go inside the numbers, you see how many submissions have been attempted. Lights out striking tonight, Joe. Doesn't seem to be as sharp as we're accustomed to. He seems to be having a hard time tonight with his combinations, his timing seems to be off, and he's having a really hard time finding his range. Good. Nice move. Nice hit. Oh, he yeah, completes the shoot down, man. That's a solid punch by Faber. He's trying to go after an arm here. He's got that arm locked. And he's free from the Kimura. Lewis with the left. I think he's seeing double out of that right arm, Mike. He escapes and he's back on his feet. He was in perfect position to block that hook. The one-two by lights out. Nice shot. Good work blocking that. Stumps the takedown. Lewis gets up. Very nicely done. Solid hook to the head. Again, he clips him. And he parries that shot. Nice hook. He delivers another hook. And stuffed. Again, he's working for this takedown very hard. Good strike from the top. Lights out's really showing some bruising on the left side of his body. Wow! He connects with a big right hand. Left hand. Man, he's really working over his opponent here in side control. And he decides to stand up and wants to strike. Sprawl. Great work from the top by Faber. He scrambles back to his feet. His hook is blocked. He saw that. Look at this. That cut on his face is nasty, and the blood continues to flow. Wow. Oh, big knee. Stay relaxed. Oh, knee. Next knee. Another knee connect. Oh, hit him with a big knee. You know, it's undeniable that he wants to take this fight to the ground. Good takedown defense, though. Struggling to get to clinch. He connects with the right hook. Lights out. Striking seems to be just a bit off tonight, Joe. His striking certainly seems to be off a step tonight. I don't know if it's his conditioning or if he didn't get the sparring time in, but his range seems off, and it doesn't seem like he's landing combinations like we're used to seeing from him. Nice work on the counter. These guys are trading strikes here. Teeing away. Oh, oh nice uppercut. uppercut. Turning into an all-out slugfest. Big punch with the right. 
That's he a big a uppercut. Good shot. Good shot. Nice switch kick by Faber. Connected there. It appears the cut on his cheek is getting worse. We have completed two rounds. Uriah Faber's cheek is a mess. The doctor's going to need to take a look at that. That cheek cut is really disgusting. I think they need to step in and end this contest. Let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a big suplex. Excellent strike here. Lands on target. And here you see excellent technique and a big slam. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. The lovely Ariane here tonight in New York City. Joe, you can see the effects of the damage that he's taken tonight. His face is a mess. Faber with a good connection. He sprawls and avoids the takedown attempt. Some ground and pound. Good execution getting back up to the feet. Both men scoring points here. Good straight punch. Wow. Wow, indeed. All right, good, good. Relax. He hurt him with that hook. That uppercut just missed. Oh, he got rocked! Man, he's taken some punishment, but he's recovered. He had his opponent hurt, but he failed to capitalize, and now he's recovered. And he's back up again. Joe, that was great technique. That hook was blown. Punch. Hold your I need Faber you. with a good straight left. Lights out. He's got. Oh, oh, no. He got rocked. Big shot. Oh. Trying to finish it here. Oh. He connects with the left. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, That's it. That's it. Over. The fight is over. Uriah Faber earns the TKO victory. TKO victory. He was not intelligently defending himself. Too many big shots get through, and that's the end of the fight. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 49 seconds. The round number three, declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Uriah, the California kid. The California Kid, Uriah Faber, remains the UFC featherweight champion.